Welcome to the French Gray Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. I want to show you every single connection that you're going to need in your outdoor DIY project, help you out at home. All right, so for perforated pipe, always use an internal coupler. It snaps inside. The way we use perforated pipe, we always use a drainage fabric, so we're never moving debris through our perforated pipe. There's no garbage flowing through here, no big leaves, things like that, you know, or just pounds and pounds of shingle gravel. We never tie roof runoff into our perforated pipe. We always use this internal coupler. This internal coupler has barbs. And when you have to go from pipe to pipe, because you're either down to a couple of pieces in your project or it's a long run, and say you have a 100 foot coil, then you have to connect another 100 foot coil to it. This is your best connection right here. It's not gonna come apart. Matter of fact, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes, but to get this, this coupler back, I'll have to cut this out of here. That's how good this holds with the barbs. Really, really good fitting. I, I can't endorse this enough for your perforated pipe. All right, now after all that, let's talk about solid pipe. Solid pipe's a little different. See, solid pipe, I know that this pipe is going to move leaves. This pipe's going to be used for gutter runoff, roof runoff. Now, if we snap this inside, this solid pipe, leaves are going to get hung up on this fitting, okay? So you, we don't want to use this for roof runoff. Instead, we want to use an external coupler, guys, okay? So it doesn't go inside the pipe, it goes over the pipe, snaps on it. And we carry it in a couple different flavors. Whatever we can get for you guys that meets you know, our quality of standard, right now materials being the way they are, you know, we're happy just to have inventory of any kind, but we're doing our very best. Again, external coupler, Always use a really good, super, super sticky, super stretchy tape. This is our 200 year tape. Put this right on this fitting right here. This will be able to flex and move in the winter. That's the strength of corrugated pipe. Now, these internal couplers, this is what gives corrugated pipe a bad name. People snap these inside and then leaves get caught on it. Shingle gravel gets caught on it. See, corrugated pipe, the water flows through here and you have some turbulence. It's self-cleaning. Now, Boffman Tile, they have a really nice design. The water just flows through here and you've seen it in a lot of our demonstrations, just the turbulence. It'll just pick up debris, just carry it out really nice. But if you snap that internal coupler in there, it obstructs the flow, see? So you want to have a coupler that grabs it from the outside. This is really important. This is really key. And I can't emphasize this enough. So I'll leave a description for this down below. All right, let's keep moving. All right, some of the other connections. Let's, let's go towards the pop-up. The pop-up's a good one. All right, so I don't recommend a barbed fitting. Although we do sell this, I don't recommend it, and I'll tell you why. Because you can't take this apart. You glue this on here, you can't remove it. If you want to make a forever connection because you're pumping some insane amount of water, you know, through this pop-up, you have a couple of sump systems and you're just afraid that it's going to just come apart. Okay, then this is your fitting, the barbed. This will snap on a corrugated pipe, no problem. You could run a solid discharge line out to this pop-up you won't be able to get it apart. I'm gonna give you an alternative though. So if it's not gonna be high volume like that, if you're not worried, this other coupler, and I'll leave all these in the description below. We, AKA we call this one the cone for the obvious reasons. And what I like about the cone, it slides right into any pop-up, really nice, real good fit. And now this will snap on a pop, or on corrugated pipe. This will snap on corrugated pipe. You can get it apart. It holds really, really good, but you can get it apart. And that's what I like because sometimes you'll get something that comes off the roof and ends up in the pop-up. 
So it's a real tight fit. There we go. So it's a really, it's a really good fit. It's a real nice fit. And then we want water to run out of this pop-up. So we won't tape up this pop-up. We'll let this, you know, it has a little bit of play in it. The water will just leach into whatever subsoil you have. But in the event something like a, a stick, you know, when branches fall and hit the roof, you end up with some sticks that will not come out of the pop-up. You can at least, you know, service it. You know, so you're, you're building it so that there's some service, you know, serviceability, which is very important. If you're a contractor, you know, you're going to get called out. You know, this is something that you put together. They're going to call you out. You're going to have to service this. So this is going to help you out when it comes to running service calls. All right, so most of our pop-ups, we have a set screw that we put in. So I just took the set screw out to show you guys this. Sometimes a pop-up is just too low. So we have this uh, riser for that, and it gives you two inches. And you could put a riser on a riser if you had to, you know, say you, you needed to get four inches out of it. That's not a problem. So there's there's the riser. All right. All right, let's keep moving. So a lot of times you have to connect corrugated pipe to PVC. Now you want this to be a good connection. You want it to be a forever connection. So I would pick the barbed. Now what's nice about this coupler the thin wall PVC, which is thin, this is, you know, SDR, you know, PVC SDR 35, okay? So schedule 35. It slides down into this part of the coupler where it's fatter right here. That is for schedule 40. You can see there's no air gap there. This fitting will work for any PVC to corrugated connection. It's dynamite. And when you connect this and you when you click it in, it's not coming apart. You have to cut it apart is the only way you're gonna get it apart. So keep that in mind. All right, so another thing that you're gonna possibly run into is thin wall PVC to schedule 40. This does happen out in the field. So we have a coupler, and I'll leave this in the description down below, that will connect SDR 35 to Schedule 40. I think that if a homeowner armed with this knowledge, you know what, there's one more thing, one more thing. Okay, so a lot of people are doing connections now with pop-ups to schedule 40. So let me help you guys out. So this is a 45 degree pop-up. So if you have a yard where you have a hard slope, instead of using the 90, which holds more water, you can just go to a 45. If you have like a ditch bank you're taking it to or something like that, that's what we do and I highly recommend it. So I can leave these in the link down below. All right, so let's say we want to connect Schedule 40 to a pop-up. We have this right here. We, we sell this just the way you see it. I'll leave it in a link down below. It goes right into the pop-up, any pop-up. This connects to Schedule 40. Super easy. All right, everybody. I hope this helped. I believe now that you've seen all the different couplers, just save this video. Save it for when you do your drainage project. You're going to need it. That way you don't make one of these mistakes because after you spend your hard-earned money on quality material and after you go ahead and you put in all of your sweat equity. You want to do it right the first time. 
you know, that's what we built French Drain Man on. Do it right the first time. This really isn't a channel for hacks. This is a channel to show you how to do it right. All right, everybody, until that next video.